begin by telling you I had a little trouble sleeping last night. Scott Walker and I had a discussion last night. We pointed out some of the problems that he's had in dealing with issues like making sure that the middle class is part of the solution and not as the enemy in this state. Because we have a governor who has done a wonderful job making the wealthiest people the happiest people. And my concern is for the middle class of this state and the people who want to join the middle class. Those are the people who need representation right now in the governor's office in Madison, Wisconsin. But to make this happen, we've got a lot of work to do between now and Tuesday. We know that we've just begun. I can tell you that the polls are close. The polls are close, and this is all going to depend upon who gets out to vote. And you can vote today if you want over at City Hall, if you live in the city of Milwaukee. You can vote till 5 o'clock, and we encourage you to get out there and vote early and to find a friend or two friends or three friends, people who don't normally vote, to get them out to vote. That's how important this election is. It's for you, it's for your children, it's for your grandchildren, it is for our state. Because we know, we know that Scott Walker has become the rock star of the far right. He is the poster boy of the Tea Party. And I will never be the rock star of the far right because my intent is to serve the people of this state. It is the people of this state that deserve to have a governor on their side. So what have we seen? We've seen the largest cut to education in this state's history. We have seen the largest cut to this city in our history. And we've seen him give tax cuts in the billions to corporations and some of the wealthiest people in this state. We have to have our government represent us. That billionaire, that billionaire from Texas who gave him a half a million dollars, he doesn't care about what's going on in Milwaukee or Racine or Manitowoc or Marshfield or La Crosse. They care about a national agenda and they want Wisconsin to be the experimental lab. And we know that this governor has said that he was going to drop the bomb. Drop the bomb on the working people of this state. We know that this governor said that he was going to divide and conquer. Those are his words, not my words. And Scott Walker has divided this state like it's never been divided before. Where neighbors can't talk to neighbors. Where relatives can't talk to relatives because it's too bitter. Because of Scott Walker's civil war. That's what happened. He intended that to happen. And here's my question. He has divided this state more than any governor in this history. But will we let him conquer this state? No! Will we let him conquer the middle class? No! That's why it's important for you to do everything between now and Tuesday. We are doing this together. We are in this together. We are a team. We are doing this for each other. So I am honored that you are here. to a fellow that I've got a lot of respect for. A fellow that knows a lot about the middle class. A fellow who knows a lot about balanced budgets. A fellow who knows a lot about running a surplus. A fellow who knows a lot about leading this nation to the largest economic expansion in our nation's history. I think you know who I'm talking about. Wisconsin welcome for President Bill Clinton.